Okay, maybe you should get some nice relaxing chamomile tea because what I'm about to show you is a big deal and it's gonna affect everyone that uses WordPress. I've been using WordPress for 15 years and this is the interface. It's what it's always been. It's no frills, no thrills. It's just an old interface. Don't get me wrong, it certainly gets the job done, but it also leaves a lot to be desired. And this right here is the first mock-up of what will be the new WordPress user interface. It's simple, it's elegant, it's not overwhelming. So for the last six years or so, WordPress is going through changes, right? It started with it building its own block editor. And I, for one, am a fan of the block editor, but of course, everyone has their own opinions of it. And that took a couple years to get dialed in and get put inside of WordPress and then it switched to the site editor. This right here is that site editor and that stage of or phase is just about completely wrapped up with the next release of WordPress. I'll have a video out on that next week but I was in multiple videos saying that I bet my money that this is going to end up being the default WordPress user interface in the future. And I think I was right. This is pretty much a brighter version of the site editor. I actually prefer this much more as well. And about a year ago, this video surfaced of what the site editor experience would be like for plugins. And you can see right here, there's WooCommerce, there's multiple settings panels, there's no page refreshes. And as you navigate throughout the plugin inside of the site editor, it's just a beautiful and elegant and modern experience and it's very fluid. Okay, okay, so the second phase of WordPress was the site editor and that's just about done. Now, the third phase is coming up and it's exciting and so far what's planned is improvements to add real-time collaboration, which will be really cool. Workflows, this is just the different workflow in building out pages and layouts and things like that. Uh, Re improving revisions, the media library, the lock, the block library, but today the big one is the admin designs. And here is that initial mock-up that I just showed you. And this also calls for a common sort of component library that plugins can use to build out a common interface. And here's kind of an example of what that looks like right here with common components that are available for plugin developers. And and also in this article is this image right here, which is kind of what the UI and experience would be for plugins inside of the site editor, which is going to most likely become just the WordPress experience. So plugin name and these, this right here would be the different menus for the plugin and then have the UI over here on the right. Now, whether you like it or not, this is coming and some people are going to be thrilled some people might not be so thrilled but it's only a good thing in my opinion to make WordPress relevant when you read this post right here introducing it it talks about the next 20 years of WordPress so WordPress has just turned 20 years old recently it was just this year what is the next 20 years going to be like and it's blatantly obvious that the user interface and the user experience has not evolved. And there's so many alternatives these days and they're quite attractive, right? If you want a WordPress site, you need to get hosting. So a lot of these different SaaS platforms are extremely attractive. Well, why not just use Wix or why not just use this one over there or Squarespace or something like that? They have better user interfaces. They're easier for users to navigate. It's a more pleasant experience using it. And WordPress has just not had that. And unfortunately, it's left a lot of gaps that plugins have had to figure out and fill for themselves. Now, while this is exciting, it's going to take you probably a little while to get all fully fleshed out and get betas put out. The block editor took like three or four years. The site editor took like three years or three or four years. So it's going to be maybe like a year or two before we see this. But the jumpstart, though, is that the interface is actually 
already designed. It's called the site editor. It just needs to be adapted a little bit. And if you watch the video I'm going to post next week on WordPress 6.3, which is coming out just next month, you'll see that they're already starting the process of moving more and more of what you do inside of WordPress into that site editor. And so you can now create pages in there or you're going to be able to create pages in there and, and edit metadata and uh, edit the pages themselves. You're going to be able to, to do so much more than you could do before. And it's just kind of like piece by piece. It's getting added into this interface. I, for one, am excited. I know for me, I have a different kind of perspective because I make plugins and all those plugins have user interfaces. So I, for one, am very excited about this, but I'm very curious, what do you think about this change? I know it's going to spark some strong opinions, uh, but I think it's just going to be great. It's going to be great for users to have a better experience inside of WordPress, but I'm just curious, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below.